All right, good morning, guys, YouTube people, world, whoever, whoever. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. Uh, coming back at you with a couple projects. Uh, we still got the pump, hydraulic pump for the skid steer, track loader, whatever you want to call it. So this, I'm planning on getting that in. Um, trying to get it in today. Um, I also have a, I bought a used axle for the Audi, so I'm trying to drain all this fluid out of it. Um, I bought a used axle because they are $1,600 new from Audi. Um, I put a AutoZone in there. And I got a vibration a while back. And uh, I brought it back and said, give me my money back. This thing was crap. So read a bunch of forums and stuff. And they're saying that a used one's better than an AutoZone or a Riley's. So, um, yeah, got a lot going on this week. Um, I got to go to the dentist. Wife is dentist. Wife, gotta go to the doctor. I gotta go to the doctor. Uh, I got a pump to put in, axle to put in. I got a new piece for the skidster from Bobcat. Bobo Cat. Um, this is the roof, the ceiling, the uh, um, the top headliner. I guess you can call it. Um, and then this is one of the corner pieces in the headliner. So, yeah, we got that corner piece headliner. This was the axle. Um, I don't know if it's any good or not. We'll have to see. I'm going to compare it to the, uh, to the one I take out of the car um they're kind of hard but not hard to do you don't have to take any ball joints or anything weird off you just gotta crack that 19 millimeter allen bolt break it loose with car on the ground tires on the ground um then take the wheel tire off take a couple shields off and uh you got six bolts around the axle uh it's probably a good hour and a half two hour job um we got cabin filters i ordered some cabin filters from k &N. they were having a sale uh cabin filter for the truck for the wife's car and the kid's car because they don't make them for my car so these will go in um Reusable, washable, lifetime cabin air filter. Hopefully the truck one is right because <clears throat> for the same year truck, there was three different ones, which I did not understand why there were three different ones for the same truck. Um, a 6.4 gas, 6.7 diesel, and the... 5.7 Hemi or something. They were all... There was two different ones. And then they would switch back to a different... To like 19. It was opposite. I don't know. It was kind of dumb, but... Whatever. Gotta install those. <sighs> Got this thing. The coolest sticker ever. <laughs> Drift. Drifters products so it's just like a piece of tire or something anyway it's a funnel that you could take on the trail with you throw it in a bag or something it doesn't take up much room um because uh do the rocky mountain uh what do you call it rocky mountain fantasy or something or other for uh, motocross, supercross, motocross, and, uh, yeah, I was just, 
losing money because I get money every every week or every race, but uh, you lose it after 30 days. So I was losing money, and I was like, well, I need to order some stupid stuff. So I didn't know which pins I needed. Um, I know the Yamaha needs a couple, a couple of these ones. So I bought a 10-pack of those, 10-pack of these, which... I don't know. I don't know what I can use those for, but um, I bought this funnel thing, and oh, I bought this funnel, this flexi funnel, mainly because I need to put fuel in the skid steer, and uh, none of my funnels do the flexi thing. And then I bought this. This little container here, it says Motorsport product. Wait. Well, yeah, that's weird. Bought it from Rocky Mountain and it says Motorsport. But it's a three quart container, so instead of using my simple green bucket thing, um, I could just use this, which will work a little better because it has a handle and a pourie thing. Um, this guy sent me a new bottle because my bottle, when you shake it, it leaks everywhere, but I'll get in, I'll be doing a review on that because, <clears throat> I don't know, um, yeah, that guy gave me all kinds of grief over it, but, um, yeah, so I bought these little, uh, Cool thingy. I can't remember what they use it for, but tusk side jaw pincher tool. I think they use it for hose clamps or something rather weird. But yeah, I don't know. I just figured it wouldn't hurt to have a pair. <clears throat> So, have a set of those because I think the only thing I have that are like this, like a hog nose pliers or wire cutters or whatever, is I have a little baby set like this somewhere, and it does not do the job at all. Um, I bought magnets because I'm trying to fish out uh, as much metal as I can. Had the wife order me some of these magnets. Um, but yeah, so I'd order some of these because I'm trying to right now. Um, let me grab something real quick. 12, 12 or 14. I'm trying to fish out as much metal as I can out of the hydraulic system for the skid steer. So I have this other magnet. And not that size, way bigger. Way bigger than that. Maybe an 18, but so that's a fill port. This is a fill port. So I'm gonna crack that one because it's straight into the tank. <sighs> But yeah, and then I don't know what we're cooking on the trigger. I'm sure at some point it's going to be ribs. Because I like the ribs. And uh, yeah, I do have to hook up the mini split. I did get the line set, the wiring, everything is in here. Um, that's the mini split. I got to finish that. The wife... Uh, cleaned off the top of the refrigerator because it's going to have to go above the refrigerator because otherwise I don't have enough space. Dang, what size is that? That's dumb. Um, But yeah, oh, I bought this little hat because this hat, this king hat, like made my head break out. So like my head has pimples or something either pimples or uh what do you call those like sun blisters maybe 
But yeah, so I ended up buying that FMF hat from the Rocky Mountain. So I had a uh, $33. You have to spend $75 to get free shipping. So I spent <coughs> whatever, I don't know, 88 bucks minus 30 something bucks. So 50 bucks for all that stuff. I'll say there was more stuff, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. That's what we got going on this off week. Um, work. Yeah, I don't, yeah, a lot of stupid stuff happened at work. And, uh, I don't deal with stupid stuff, so... I, uh, cause I've already been fired from the railroad. So when people tell me or try to force me to do stupid stuff, I put, we have a system thing called the bid line and, uh, you can go to other locations, to other jobs. And, uh, yeah, since I'm the foreman of this work group, they wanted me to do some stupid stuff and I said I don't do stupid stuff so I went on the our bid line and I'm out of there but I don't see there's no metal in this thing man I mean just fine fine metal but I'm gonna play with this I'm gonna throw uh should be, I don't know, is there a bigger tank or something around here? But, you would think there'd be more metal or something, or, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be, you know, like, anything in there. So, I'm going to play with this some more. Um, I already ran it down some of the hoses, like the return hose and the the other hoses that are down right in there. I ran it down in there. I got nothing. So I'm going to crawl in here and try to see if I can't fish something out. But, but yeah, so anyway, for work, I might be going to Idaho. I'll find out today because uh, right now I'm working in Stockton which is pretty close, five hours away from home, five and a half hours, whatever, which is nice, but like I said, I don't, I don't deal with stupidity. So when people try making me do some stupid stuff, I, I leave. Um, and uh, yeah, the rest of my group, they're all mad because they know that's how I do it. We uh, are, general director of that area he knows me very well so he's if I catch a job he's going to get an email today and he's going to be calling me saying what happened who did what what they tell you to do and uh I'm going to tell him that it was his people his people underneath him telling me to do x y and z and I'm not doing x y and z because I'm not getting people killed or fired. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So, that's the plan. I'm sure I'll be getting a call around 2 or 3 o'clock. But, I forgot. I did buy these. I had the wife order these fans. They're solar solar exhaust fans. Um, for the shipping container. Because... I can't get anything. Uh, they were cheap too. Um, I think they were like 30 bucks, 29, 29, 30 bucks a piece. I'm sure they're cheap quality, but I mainly just need the panel. Uh oh, got a red light. Terminator. So, um, yeah, I'm sure whatever. They'll be in the shipping container, but let's see. See what they look like without dropping it because it feels like it's just glass. It feels like it's glass. 
pull it. Oh, that's not glass. It's plastic. But supposedly it has a battery in here. There's the plug right there. And uh, it's got a 6,000 amp hour battery. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna use for a fan just to keep the shipping container full or cool, cooler, I guess you could say, just to pull some hot air out. And uh, there's the fan. Got its own little like safe trap door thingy but i'm just gonna mount it in there somehow some way i gotta figure out which way it spins and stuff but that's later but all right guys i'm gonna get off here got things to do see you guys on the next video don't know what it'll be but it'll be something and uh yep all i got See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Keep being new people. Later.